Well, tonight investigators have now determined an ASU professor was killed after he was reported missing earlier this year. Our David Contabiano breaking down the homicide investigation and telling us the impact he made in Tempe. Colleagues of electrical engineering professor John Sik Che are quick to tell you how special he was. He made a real impression on the, the university administration. He was tenacious. He was um, um, enthusiastic. Um, and to see those qualities in someone so brilliant is, is, is actually quite rare, to be honest. With you. The native South Korean hit the ground running in Tempe after getting his doctorate in Michigan, eventually developing cutting edge technology such as chip like brain implants for people who have neurological disorders. His mind was astonishing, but he could do things. I mean, he would he would take things from the, the kind of most nebulous of concepts into actual working devices. The Maricopa County Sheriff's Office say he went missing earlier this year. An investigation began in late March. Detectives determined he was killed. They've been scouring this landfill in surprise for evidence near 195th Avenue and Deer Valley Road. The office has yet to tell us specifically what evidence they're looking for. Right now, no arrests have been made in Professor Che's death. His colleagues have no idea why anyone would want to hurt him. It's. Uh... It's been completely horrific. I mean, uh, shocking doesn't even begin to describe it. Um, we, my colleagues and I are, are, are truly de devastated. There, there's no other way to put it. Now with Professor Che's passing, his colleagues say there's a void that will never be filled. He's just really irreplaceable. A loss to not only the school, but also the world. It may sound hyperbolic, but the world is diminished. Uh, I'll tell you that right now. What he was working on was for the good of us all. In Tempe, David Caltabiano for Arizona's family.